I'm Susie Chase Motskin. I've been researching and practicing mind-body medicine for well over 30 years and have had plenty of opportunities as a professional skier to experience um, the power that my mind has over my body. Um, I've healed things that are insane. Um, pretty crazy how quick and effective your mind can be. But today's video is about the mind and how it relates to your state of mind. Um, how to avoid depression. How to avoid depressive states. How to avoid habits of anger and, um, and despair. Well, it may seem like a pipe dream. Um, certainly the medications that you can get from your doctor may find um, some benefits for you. But oftentimes the medications create deficits in, in energy and, um, and weight gain and different things like that. So I think you would agree that it would be better to fix yourself and your state of mind um, in a more healthy manner. It's a habit. It's something that you have to practice. It's not easy because habits take a long time to change. Um, as we've noticed during our present COVID lockdown stuff, uh, quarantining, has brought a lot of people um, into a more introspective state. You know, the grass always looks greener on the other side, so why not just take the weeds out of your own lawn and uh, enjoy it more? And this is how you do it. Um, there was a girl that used to come and clean her house um, every two weeks while we were uh, building the house. Um, I couldn't really get at it because I'm up to my eyeballs in mud usually outside. Um, every time she would come, she would go, my kids are horrible. They never listen. They're lazy. They don't do anything. Um, my husband, he isn't working enough and he's, he's cranky all the time and he doesn't come home. And -na 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 -na. one day I said to her, why don't you try changing your story? She goes, what do you mean? I said, instead of saying how bad something is every time, why don't you start saying how you'd like it to be? And she still didn't understand. So I said, okay, you're saying that your husband always comes home cranky or not at all, well, maybe it might have something to do with the um, persona that you're putting on. You know, like you're waiting for him to be cranky and you get, you know, you just kind of carry this darkness around you. So instead, maybe think, oh, this time when he comes home, it's going to be so much better. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But if you keep on thinking it, maybe your aura will lighten up. You keep on telling this story, this horrible, sad story, every time you come. And every time you come, you, it's like you have this cloak of darkness around you. And perhaps that is attributing to some of the affect that you're experiencing. I said, instead of complaining about your daughters, why don't you start saying, I know my daughters have tremendous potential and I'm hoping that they will become more motivated to do these things. Um, I'm hoping, I'm uh, wishing, I'm looking forward to um, the opposite of what it is. So the longer you dwell on the negative, the more exacerbated it is. And it's really hard to do. Like when you're in the middle of this kind of cloud of uh, disgust or anger, 
um, what do you do? You know, you could feel it. And you feel it in your gut and you have these horrible feelings and, and oftentimes those um, feelings that last over periods of time will cause illness in your body because it lowers your vibration. By changing your story, by speaking in a positive tone, you can alter the outcomes. So sure enough... We stopped using her because I stopped building the house. And um, almost a year later, I ran into her and I asked her how she was doing. And she goes, oh, my, you won't believe this. I got this great job. My kids are doing great in school. And my husband is, you know, he's working and we're getting along great. And I'm like, oh, that's wonderful to hear. So that's just one story my own healing stories and my own life um, stuff um, has gotten me into states where I'm like, mm -hmm, what was me? And then I go, oh, look, look at what I'm doing. I'm making a habit where I'm bitching to myself or bitching to others about this and this and this being off and bad. And what do I feel inside? It's like it churns in the upper part of my gut. Some of you might even be experiencing like an acid reflux. Because every time you have a thought that elicits a negative response, it's going to affect your body. So starting today, my advice to you, is to when you notice that you're saying something negative about something or your situation or what's going on, change the wording. You can't BS yourself. You can't be like, um, you know, you've just gotten a diagnosis of uh, some disease or whatever. You can't say, um, oh, uh, everything's great. Because, you know, obviously it isn't and something happened. However, you can say, this happened to me. It was really horrible, but I'm working toward, I'm hoping for, and continue elevating your, um, your mindset. Soon it becomes a habit because... We're always going to be faced with contrast of some sort. And this depression and this sadness and this overwhelming cloak of darkness that, that builds this fear inside our bodies is, um, is just killing us. So I'm sure you don't want that. So, um, when you notice, and that's the first thing to do, is recognize your patterns of thought, of speech, and try to modify it. Find yourself complaining to your girlfriend and stop it. Say, you know, I really wish blah, blah, blah. I hope for blah, blah, blah. So I hope this will help. Um, I know it's helped me tremendously. It's helped other people. And if you change your story to the way you want it to be, chances are your life will align to just that. God bless.